Hey guys and welcome to episode 1 of the My Player Career Mode series on the channel. Today I'm going through a My Player Career Mode series with Celt Vega. And I'm going to name my pro Jose Rodriguez, a 5'11 centre attacking midfielder. We're going to continue his legacy from uh, FIFA 18 when we did the Hamburg Career Mode series, My Player series, which then went down quite well on the channel actually, which I'm really grateful for. But uh, we're going to continue his legacy, Jose Rodriguez, and ultimately make him one of the best footballers in world's history in a couple of seasons' time. You know, maybe maybe get loaned out to one of the bigger teams in the division, like uh, Bayern, you know, Bruce Dortmund, you know, even Madrid, Barcelona. That's our ultimate aim, to have a permanent transfer to one of those clubs. Either one of those clubs I'd be really happy with. But I'm showing you guys the detailed squad report of all the players that we've got so far. Like, the average rating of this team is 76 rating and 24. Like, Yunke is a very decent player in my opinion, Beltran, found friend Beltran. I hope you guys enjoyed this series as well. And also I'd really appreciate if you guys show your support on it as well. Yukuslu, the Turkish midfielder. He's 24 years old, very very decent player indeed. 77 rated. I mean Danny Molina, obviously the former Manchester City player. Josebed, Lobotka, some good central midfielders actually. So the average rating is actually roughly 75, 76 rating. Which makes this, which makes this squad, like actually quite good in my opinion. We can in our first season we can European football is very much attainable with this squad that we've got. Uh, Maximiliano Gomez is a highly rated match. Actually, he's a very young, promising player in this one. Emmanuel Ape, another backup striker. But Sofian Bofa who's on loan from Southampton. But I'm, I'm just gonna change my uh, pros boots. Perhaps using Adidas or a Nike or something, whatever I like. Yeah, I really do like those Hyper Venoms actually. They look awesome. I'm a pro. I mean, New Balance look pretty good, but Hyper Venom Phantom Elite looks pretty sick in my opinion. I'd also like to untuck my shirt, but I'd have to play at least a couple of games in order to unlock that. But we're getting selected for the game against Southampton in this preseason game. Can't wait for this actually. Can't wait for this series in general. Playing against, we're playing at Anfield at, against Southampton. It's a very rotated side. Pion Sister, Ape, Mendes, Melina, Rodriguez, Yakuslu. We've got Mayo Castos, Alonso, Yuntka, and Ruben Blanco plays in between the sticks. Very, very decent team indeed. But we're just going to do a bit of training, just to kind of get the series going. Just to kind of get some of the players a bit higher rated. I mean, that's a beautiful volley that is. <laughs> but we'll jump straight into the game against Southampton and hopefully look to get three points in this group stage. We've got Feyenoord, Southampton, and I can't quite remember the last team. Oh, it, it was Torino. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Torino was in that group stage. So we've got some difficult group stages coming up right now in this uh, preseason tour. But we're playing against and Southampton at the the Anfield Stadium. Cup. Very, very good. I'm very intrigued to find out the result that we we'll get. Yeah, and these tournaments, much more of a pre-season tournament. To see the team that Southampton have put out for this one. I mean, they've basically kind of rotated the side a little bit as we come on the attack. The, the plane, um, uh, go we've got Manolo Gabbiadini on the bench. They're starting well. Sam Gallagher, Ure Romeo in that midfield. Matthew Target in that left back position. As we get an opportunity, Jack Stevens gets rid of it. Bednarek also starts with them as well. James Ward Prowse towards Aurelio or Romay. And it's a good ball in towards Sam Gallagher. He's a very low rated striker, but he's young, promising. He shows a bit of promise. As we win the ball back off Southampton, we come on the attack. Rodriguez in towards Molina, who just finesses at home into the back of the net. Celta Vigo won Southampton you nil. Know, is a really good move that is that's exactly how we play football that that's the way how we should play football look well, always at least involved in the build up play lovely build up play for me actually got good drop the shoulder and then Molina gets played through and he finesses at home with his right foot lovely goal that is 1-0 Salta Vigo and we take the lead against Southampton look at that past uh, James McCarthy in goal 
He's not the easiest. Pass goes straight to the opposition. We're one nil up so far. Sisto. Mario Lamina. I mean, Southampton have a, had a decent game so far, but we've been we've been the better team so far. We've had the majority of the chances up to this point. We've a heavily rotated sides from from both teams, both managers. Uh, the player that we're featuring here has done well. He's certainly been an influence on this first half. Peon Sisto coming on the attack again. Plays that in towards Rodriguez. Lovely ball out wide. Peon Sisto towards Ape. Lovely football. Interlinking passing play. Molina gets himself an assist, plays that across towards Pion Sisto, and then Ape, our backup striker, gives us a 2 0 lead right now. Beautiful play that is. Triangular passing, beautiful first time shot, shot flies into the back of the net, and we take the 1 0 lead. As we get the result against Southampton, and we, in this next one, we've got a game against Torino, as we get our first shot of our career with our right foot, trying to finesse that home into the back of the net. Keepers to the left hand side, keepers right. Very, very good opportunity that was. But we just weren't able to get the target. We weren't able to hit the target there. Torino nil, Celta Vigo nil so far. And I hope you guys enjoyed this episode as well. Iago Falke. I mean, Torino starting a very, very strong team. Balotti, Rincon. Diego Falke, very good player actually, as a, a ball deflected, falls straight towards Ruben Blanco as he makes a save there. But I'm just showing you guys like some of the main highlights of the game, not extended highlights. That's the reason why the video is slightly shorter, but as Velocity coming on the attack, Velocity gets a shot, Ruben Blanco is there to tip it away to make the save. We highly rate Ruben Blanco actually. He's a young, promising keeper. Look, right-footed effort. Almost finds the back of the neck. Almost. That was a good chance though. As a corner comes in for Torino, a header for Mate goes over the bar. Mate's header. Very, very good opportunity for Torino there to take the lead. As we get another opportunity, cross comes in towards me, aim towards me. But it's, it's just slightly too under hit there. Slightly under hit. As we're still coming on the attack, Rodriguez 1 2. I'm going to play 1 2 actually. This is nice for build up play. Sister. Peon Sister with a wicked delivery with his left foot and Ape scores for us two goals in two games. That cross from Peon Sister was inch perfection with his left foot. And Ape gives us a 1 0 lead against Tarina. It's a beautiful cross, unbelievable delivery. And Ape, a back of striker, young talented striker, scores another goal with his head this time. Look, he rises above the defender, he just rises above that defender and just heads at home into the back of the net. Look at that beautiful header, no chance of a goalkeeper. I think that's Salvatore Sturigo in between the sticks as we get the result. And that's how the game would end. I mean, the preseason final, the preseason semis, I had to simulate because I couldn't quite play and got the result. But preseason final is what we're going to go play. Manchester United at Old Trafford. So not Manchester United, I got confused there. But a new signing, Alan Alexander Dragovic, joins the club, Celta Viga. We'll be playing at Old Trafford in the preseason final. And here he is making his debut. Yeah, uh, they uh, conceded one or two sloppy goals, I thought, last season particularly. Let's have a look and at the lineups that both teams are actually playing in this preseason tour. Just be able to plug some gaps. I mean, Sergio starts in goal for us. Celta. Hugo Maia, Cabral, Dragovic, Yakuslu, Beltran, Rodriguez, Diego Aspas, Maximiliano yeah, Gomez, and Pion Sister. Yeah, Plays up front, a very, very good. It's not a 4 4 2, it's a 4 3 3. It's a 4-3-3 in that midfield position. Maximiliano Gomez starts up front. As we get on the attack, what a chance for us to take the lead there. What a chance for Maximiliano Gomez in the 24th minute. Look, he just skies that high there. He should have bent that into the back of there. He should have scored. Personally, that was a great opportunity for us to take the lead. Maximiliano Gomez should have buried that. That was a great move. Great move. Good pass to find him. But he was just not being able to finish that into the back of the net. He wasn't able to put that into the back of the net. 
He just skied that shot. He just tried to put his foot straight through, his laces straight through. But unfortunately, that was not. It was. We just couldn't get that one in lead from that move. But again, some good builder play, in my opinion. As we still play the ball from the back, I'm trying to press as high as possible. They're trying to get rid of it, aren't they? We won the ball back there. Okay, towards Rodriguez. Ah, oh, poor pass, that is. Really poor pass. Preseason final. This is a bit of a scrappy game so far. Both sides are just giving each other the ball. Like, we keep losing possession, we keep winning possession. So, it's one of those kind of games in this preseason final. It's not free flowing, as I might have hoped. But I'd like to win this preseason toy if I can. As Hugo Mayo coming. On the right hand side, can he stand the ball up? Diego Aspas tries a bit of footwork, tries to find me through. Awful there pass from Diego Aspas, he's got to do better there. I mean, Hugo Mayo, heavy first touch, I'm going to play that across. Play that across towards the man who gets a shot off. But Mia is there to make the save. 89th minute in. This is being a bit of a disappointing game so far in this preseason final. He'll go to penalties. He'll go to penalties unless we can score a goal in this attempt. 90th minute in plus stoppage time. This is probably going to go to penalties now unless we can foul. Plays me through. Ah, oh, poor pass me though. My stamina is dead right now. Jordi Classy will win that off me. And we're going to go straight to penalties in the preseason final against our opposition. Look, the Feyenoord only had one shot. Penalty kick for us to take. He's going to step up and he's going to score. Very confidently, penalty taken. Ayub will take this. Yassin Ayub will take this. He's going to try and go the right direction towards the left hand side. I think Sofian Pofal stepping up, isn't he? Sofian Pofal. Which way is he going to go? To the left again. All three penalties have been converted. That's quite hilarious, that is. Keeper's not been able to save that. Yuri Classy, what a penalty that is. All of these penalties are just sublime, man. What great penalties. Again, another penalty straight down the throat of the keeper. Seb Larson again to step up and take this penalty kick. Can he step up? Oh, the keeper should have better there. Ruben Blanco, you might have been able to save that. If he didn't dive to the floor, but an opportunity for us, Maximiliano Gomez scores, boys. That's what we need. Or, I mean, Robbie Van Persie. Guys, you remember him, right? From Manchester United. As he misses the target, he's a very good striker, Robbie Van Persie. I remember the days he's played for Man United. He's a beast of a striker. I guess a shot comes in. Penalty kick. Diego Aspas wins the preseason tournament for us. As we get the result. We get we beat them on penalties, Feyenoord. Not much action in the first 19th minute, but he needed penalties to differentiate up between both sides. As Diego Aspas, what a penalty with his left foot. Confidently dispatches that to the right hand side. Diego Aspas will win us the pre season tour, boys. And also, I just want to say a huge thank you for watching this episode as well. If you guys enjoyed, perhaps leave a like as well. And also subscribe to my channel as well, that'd be really appreciated. But we're gonna lift the preseason trophy. Yeah, well done to all concerned. Lift the preseason trophy. I'd like to. I'm actually quite happy that we were able to win the preseason at the end of it. Personally, really, really happy with it. But we're gonna be able to lift the trophy now. Uh, oh, you're gonna lift it right? Come on, boys! Preseason trophy. It's not. Hopefully, it won't be the first trophy we'll be able to win. And in the next episode, hopefully, I'll be able to um, get for preseason, like the official season underway.